so we are going to discuss a uh, gate previous year problem from the ic engine so this question was asked in 2003 for two marks uh, let us go through the question here so we have an automobile engine that is operating at an fuel air ratio of 0.05 so we have uh, a fuel air ratio f by a fuel air ratio this is 0.05 and the volumetric efficiency is given to be the volumetric efficiency is given to be 90 percent that is 0.9 and indicated thermal efficiency this is given to be uh, the value of 30 percent that is 0.3 if we write it in fraction given the calorific value so calorific value of the fuel it is 45 into 10 to the power 3 we can write kilojoule per kilogram this is the calorific value and the density of air so air density is equal to 1 kilogram per meter cube this is 1 kilogram per meter cube right the indicated mean effective pressure for the engine we have to find out so what we can say here is c so for the indicated mean effective pressure uh, we can use a formula that is uh, the indicated power is equals to Planck now what is Planck P here is uh, this is how we generally remember the formula so P here is the indicated mean effective pressure L is the stroke length A is the area of the piston N is the uh, revolutions per minute and K is the number of cylinders upon 60 small n now small n is uh, 2 for a 4 stroke engine it is 1 for a 2 stroke engine so indicated power is equals to Planck upon 60 n so this is the formula which I can use here if I want to find out the mean effective indicated mean effective pressure but if I have to use this formula I should know the indicated power I should know these things so let us try to understand how we can calculate these things so what I'm doing is I'm starting from here. I'm saying that indicated thermal efficiency is known to me and this indicated thermal efficiency is basically indicated power, indicated power upon heat addition per second that is mass of fuel into the calorific value Fine. this. Now we know the fuel air ratio. So we can say the fuel air ratio can basically be written as mass of fuel upon mass of air. So what I can do is uh, this is mass of uh, fuel by air ratio is 0 0.05. This is m dot f and this is m dot a. So what, what I can do is I can write the m dot f that is mass of fuel in terms of the mass of air. So we can say therefore, therefore uh, we can write like this, this expression indicated thermal efficiency is 0 0.3 and this will be equal to indicated power we don't know it will be equal to m dot f right so what is m dot f m dot s f can be written as 0 0.05 into m dot a into m dot a into the calorific value which is 45 into 10 to the power 3 right so we can calculate the indicated power from here so indicated power i can calculate from here it is 0.3 into 0.05 into uh, 45000 so we have 675 so indicated power is coming out to be this indicated power is coming out to be 675 kilowatt indicated power is coming out to be 675 <coughs> kilowatt so what why we got it in kilowatt i have written the uh, expression actually mass of fuel we can say that here m dot a will be in kilogram per second and calorific value is in kilojoule per kg so we can get this value here indicated power in kilowatt fine now if indicated power uh, sorry it will be not in kilowatt because here it will be the multiplication of m dot a so the m dot a unit will decide what is the mass flow rate of air multiplying this will decide what will be the unit of uh, the indicated power but if we keep the standard units we will always get the uh, standard unit for the unknown quantities so we can write like this right 
Now indicated power is known. This is the indicated power here. This is known. Now we can say indicated power here is this. But uh, what is the use of volumetric efficiency here? So further I can say this expression I can write. Further I can say the volumetric efficiency is equals to uh, m dot a that is the mass of air that is actually entering mass of air that is actually entering divided by m dot s and this is the uh, mass of air theoretically that can fill the stroke volume of our cylinder. So volumetric efficiency is given to be 0 0.9 and m dot a this is m dot a upon now what is m dot s it is equals to density of air into v dot s. Now what is v dot s? v dot s is the stroke volume uh, that is available uh, per second for the entry of the or for the suction of the air inside the cylinder. So uh, m dot a can be written as m dot a can be written as 0 0.9 into now what is the density of air they have given it is 1. So it will be 1 only when we multiply into v dot s. Now see what is v dot s let us try to understand. So v dot s is when one suction happens in the cylinder, when one suction happens suppose this is the cylinder, this is the cylinder, this is top dead center and this is bottom dead center. This is the diameter of the piston bore diameter, this is the stroke length. So when one suction happens, uh, we have pi by 4 into d square, this is the volume available per suction right. In one suction, this is the volume available, but uh, we have to write it in per second basis, right? Now, this is sorry, pi by 4 into d square, this is the area into L, stroke length L. So, this is the volume available, this is the volume available per suction. Now, how many suctions are there that are taking place per second? How many suctions are taking place per second? So we can say into into n is the RPM. So this is this is volume volume per suction. This is volume per suction. Now what is n? Now n is the revolutions taking place per minute. So dividing it with 60, we get the number of revolutions taking place per second per second. Now uh, see here if it is a four stroke engine. If it is a four stroke engine, two revolution will correspond to one cycle. So I will have to divide with two. That is the number of revolutions divided by two will be because in two revolution, there will be one suction stroke because one cycle completes in two revolution. And if it is a two stroke engine, in each revolution, I will get one suction stroke. So what I do is I will divide it with small n. So the value of small n, it can be two for a four stroke and it can be one for a two stroke it can be one for a two stroke so this value can be one for a two stroke engine right so this is n now what we have multiplied this is volume per section and this is number of suction this is number of suction per second number of suction per second into k now what is k k is the number of cylinders right k is the number of cylinders if nothing is mentioned in the question we always take it to be one so we have got this value. So what I can write is this is a, this is a, this is a. So m dot a is equals to 0 0.9 into, uh, we can write it l into a into n, l into a into n into k upon 60 n. This is m dot a, right? Now uh, m dot a uh, I can substitute this m dot a here and uh, substituting this m dot a in this equation. So suppose this is equation 1 let us say and this is equation 2 here let us say. Therefore equation 2 implies, therefore equation 2 implies, so what I can write here is, so therefore equation 2 implies, equation 2 implies that indicated power is equals to 675 into now m dot a I can substitute here into 0 0.9 into L A N K upon 60 N upon 60 N. 
So we can write this when we multiply it 675 into uh, 675 into 0 0.9 it is 607.5 into L A N K upon 60 N. This is the indicated power. Suppose this is equation 3. Now if I compare, if I compare, if I compare the equation 3 with equation 1, see here. If I compare the equation 3 with equation 1, so from 1 and 3, from 1 and 3, the only difference is this is the value here and here we have indicated mean effective pressure. So therefore, the indicated mean effective pressure, indicated mean effective pressure is coming out to be 607.5 and this will be in kilo Pascal, right. So 607.5 kilo Pascal. That means, uh, so if we divide it with 100 because the final answer is given to be in bar, so it can also be written as 6.075 bar, 6.075 bar. So this will be the answer, this will be the answer, fine. So this is the question here and I will also show you the solution. This is the question here and here I have shown you the complete solution. Please take this.